Hi friends! Today I'm gonna read the book Tremendous Tractors by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Tremendous chuggy tractors so sturdy and so strong hitching up to farm machines and pulling them along putt putt carrying pumpkins Their big black tires have solid treads that help them not to slip. These chunky treads can chew the ground and get the wheels to grip. A tractor works on farmland, so its body must be tough. It sits high up above the ground, for farmland can be rough. To grow their crops, the farmers have to start by sowing seeds. But first, to break the ground up, a plow is what they need. A tractor pulls the plow across the field, up and down. The plow blades cut the soil into furrows, with rich and brown. The tractor hauls the harrow next to break the soil some more. Disc harrows crush the clods up. That's what a harrow's for. Crumble crunch. It's time to use the roller now, a tube that rolls around for flattening the field, pushing stones beneath the ground. Rimble rumble. The seed drill has a hopper, a seed box that you fill. When it's time for planting, the tractor pulls the drill. The seed drill makes a row of grooves in which the seeds can drop. The spikes then rake a covering of soil across the top. When a hay crop's fully grown, the mower mo comes and mows. Chop, chop, chop. It cuts the grass and leaves it out to dry in tidy rows. Later on, a baler scoops the stalks up from the ground and shapes them into bales, which are bundles square or round. A bale of hay is heavy, so it's very hard to lift. A bale fork on a tractor makes it easier to shift. Plunk, plop. If the crop's a grain crop, when harvest time is here, a great big combine does the job and gets the whole crop clear. It cuts the stalks and threshes them to knock the grain all out, then spreads the straw behind it as the grain spills from the spout. Swish, swish. A tractor with a trailer shifts bales of straw or hay takes food to hungry animals, or carries crops away, or people. The tractor and the farmer work hard and do their best, so when the day is over, they both deserve a rest. And there's the tractor parts that we learned about. The tire that has chunky treads to help the wheel grip bumpy or slippery ground. The seed drill, this scratches small grooves in the ground for planting seeds. The hopper, this holds the seeds and blows them out through a row of tubes. The spikes, those move, these move through the ground to cover the seeds after they drop. The blade, a plow has sharp blades or shares to cut into the ground and turn over the soil. And the last one, a bale fork. This is for lifting bales of hay or straw and moving them around. The end.